noisy lamp. John Park in the Maker Shed. This is the tiny Cylon kit. I'm going to put it together and use it. All right, when you open up your kit, you'll find a battery pack, the PCB that you're going to solder everything to. Uh, mine came with the AT Tiny chip already set on there. This does need to be soldered. I've got five LEDs, those are going to be blinking, and the resistor for the LEDs. Also, a little momentary switch to pattern through the patterns. That's not English. A momentary switch to cycle through the patterns. Also, a little screw for uh, holding together the battery pack in case you use this in a very vigorous way. Uh, now the LEDs, the long end is going to go into all of the um, contacts that have a square on them. Don't reverse them. So what I'm going to do is actually set just one of these in place and I'm going to use a little bit of uh, poster putty to get that to stay before I flip it over. And what I'm going to do is instead of setting these all the way down to the bottom uh, of the lead and touching the board, I'm going to leave them standing proud of the board, almost their full height, so that I can bend them forward so that I can insert this into a prop later once I've got it put together. Look at that, there we go. All right, so after that, we're just gonna install the battery holder and this comes with some tinned and pre-stripped or pre-stripped and tinned leads on the battery holder. And just snap that together. It also comes with a little screw in case you want to really uh, keep that thing from opening up. I don't mind so much. So here I go. I'm going to test it out. Turn it on. Success! We have blinking LEDs. I love it. Looks great. Okay, so I've got my kit built, and now what I want to do is take apart this old Nerf gun that I just found in the garage. I have repaired this thing twice, and I don't think it's going to make it, so it just doesn't take air anymore. It's very sad, but it could be a pretty cool prop gun for Halloween, so what I'm going to do is take it apart, uh, drill some holes, and find some ways to mount the tiny Cylon inside there for a cool lighting effect. I think I'm going to place the battery pack inside the side here where this little window is so that I can access it and change the batteries if I need to. And then I'm going to drill the holes for my LEDs right back in here and give myself access to the button as well through this little slit that's in the side of the gun. Okay, now I'm going to bend the LEDs out away from the board. I need to be gentle with this so I don't break anything. And now I'm going to bend these back down the other way at a right angle. Okay, I've marked my holes. And now I'm going to drill those out. Let me put on my goggles. Safety first. Right now, I can fit all of these LEDs into their little ports, just like that. There's the board glued in place, and that's where the placement of the battery pack is going to be. So there it is, the tiny Cylon kit inside of a Nerf gun. If I flip the switch. I get my cool Cylon blinking action. Thank you for tuning in. I'm John Park for the Maker Shed.